U.S. Customs and Border Protection is now ordering medical checks on every child in its custody. This comes after an eight-year-old boy from Guatemala died while in a detention center on the U.S.-Mexico border. The child has been identified as Felipe Gomez Alonso. He had been in custody with his father since December 18th. According to CBP, an agent noticed the eight-year-old had a cough and his eyes were glossy on Monday. The child was hospitalized twice and then died on Christmas. At this time, it is unclear what caused Alonzo to fall ill. He's the second migrant child to die in less than three weeks. Earlier this month, a seven-year-old girl from the same country died while being detained by CBP agents. Many immigration advocates and human rights groups are criticizing the agency for these deaths. Joining me now to discuss this latest tragedy along the U.S.-Mexico border is Enrique Morones. He's the founder and director of Border Angels, a nonprofit human rights organization that assists undocumented migrants. Thank you so much, Enrique, for joining us today. Um, yeah. This is alarming. This news is it's tragic, especially for these families who have lost these young kids. So how does this happen in less than a month, twice? It's absolutely horrific. First, Trump dehumanizes children. Then he separates them from their parents, puts the children in cages. I was there not too long ago when he was tear gassing them, or because of him they were being tear gassed, and now the children are being killed. Trump needs to be removed from office. It is out of control. A society is judged on how we treat our children. The whole world is watching, horrified, horrified as this is going on. We've got to stop this. It's, it's unbelievable to me, and it's totally unacceptable. Enrique, uh, a lot of us are aware that some of these detention centers are overcrowded. And when it comes to uh, Alonzo, the eight-year-old boy who just died on Christmas, he was sick. And, of course, illness can spread in any given situation. Um, but especially when these places are overcrowded, it could make it easier for illness to spread. But what should be done to prevent this from happening again? I have been to these facilities. As you know, we're right on the border. I've been out in the desert putting water like we've been doing for 25 years. What needs to be done is there needs to be a change in policies. They should not be forcing these people to cross in such dangerous areas. They should have more immigration judges and attorneys at the border so people can seek asylum the way they do all over the world instead of risking their lives crossing through the desert or through the mountains. When Jacqueline died, the seven-year-old girl recently, or Felipe, the most recent case, they had been traveling for a long time. The Border Patrol needs to be prepared, knowing that when these children, adults, arrive, they're in distress. They need to have better attention. The policies need to change. A wall is not the answer. We need to have humane immigration policies. The United States has a great responsibility in why these people are fleeing their home country. The home countries need to, need to have changes as well. But it's not the children's fault. We need to be looking after these children, treating them in a humane manner. That is not what is taking place. And Trump Ricky, needs to be I'll, called on this. A lot of advocates would agree with you, saying that policies need to be put in place to prevent these types of things from happening. Now, I'm interested uh, to hear from you. What do you say to critics who have to say that the migrant parents are blamed for putting young children's lives at risk by making the long journeys that you were describing earlier and not crossing border properly? I'll tell them that their great-great-grandparents did the same thing for them. When they crossed in caravans, whether it was across the Atlantic or from the East Coast to the West Coast, to seek a better life or to seek a life at all, if these parents, in this case from Central America, leave the children where they are in Central America, they're going to watch their children starve to death or be killed in front of them in their home country. We need to help these countries. We need to have humane policies in this country because of the big responsibility it has. And that is not taking place. Trump's hate words lead to hate actions. Those hate actions lead to death. And I'll repeat what Heather Heyer said, another person on Trump's hands as far as death. She said, if you're not outraged, you're not paying attention. And I be believe me, we, the Border Angels, and many others are outraged about what is taking place. We need to make sure that uh, Trump is held accountable for this. This is horrific. The whole world is watching. This is the worst of the American spirit. Enrique, many migrants, as you're saying, uh, they're fleeing unstable countries um, in Central America and wherever else, but it's fleeing to the U.S. their only option here. 
Well, their only option is either they flee or they have their children die in front of them. They don't have to flee to the United States. Most undocumented people around the world don't come to the United States. There's 250 million undocumented people in the world today. 239 million of them are in countries other than the United States. And those countries are not responsible on why the people fled their home country. The United States has a great responsibility. And it's shocking that people still listen to Trump's lies. Those lies are now causing children's deaths. It's got to stop. The whole world needs to be alerted about this situation. And that's why I'm glad you're, you're allowing people to see what is really taking place. It is horrific. It's unacceptable. And we need to stop it. We should have stopped it before. Stop it in a peaceful manner. Change the policies. I'm glad a new Congress is coming in here in the United States. Let's make these changes because a children's life is so valuable. And to have an 8-year-old, a 7-year-old killed within the last couple of weeks during the Christmas season or any season is absolutely unacceptable. It's got to stop. And this is blood on Trump's hands. It is, and hopefully, Enrique, in the future, we will see policies enacted so that we don't hear about this ever again. Thank you so much, Enrique Morone. It's founder and director of Border Angels. Thank you. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.